Hey everyone, it is your boy Kevin, and welcome back to another KKS Gaming video. And today I decided I'd try something a little different for the channel. I've been playing this one for a while, it's called Stardew Valley. It's the indie darling of the season. And uh, yeah, it's, for those who aren't familiar, it's based, it's a spiritual successor to the Harvest Moon series back in the day where you you grow crops, you tend them, you know, you have relationships, you hold you know, special yeah, special occasions. It's 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 pretty good. It's pretty good so far. So right now I'm dropping off my my stuff. I'm gonna drop off the honey too. So yeah, I've been playing it for like about a couple of days, and I am in it. I'm with it. Uh, I like I like how it handles. I like how it plays. Let me go check uh, the rest of my other stuff. Uh, mushrooms aren't growing yet. Okay, let's so go delve a little bit in the forest. See if I can find something. Yeah, it's a uh, same. It's pretty much the same story and premise of. The original, you you start off you start off like in the city, but this one is pretty cool because you start off in a boring job and uh, you work your way up from the. I mean, sorry, I'm rambling. Yeah, you start on a dead end, boring job, and then you get a letter from your um, grandfather saying, "Hey." You got a ranch, so if you want to do the ranching thing, you totally can. You can. So he or she decides, your character decides that you know it's time to shake the hat, the shackles of corporate life, and jump into this uh, world and uh, make some of himself. Currently, we're doing pretty good. The controls are a little bit weird. But I guess, I think, it's because I'm playing on a keyboard, and this game is not the best on a keyboard. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just stating a, a, a pretty good fact on this. Uh, and also, the mining, it has, we have mobs. So, as you delve in the mines, you also have to fight off, uh, creatures. Which, again, that's something, that's something that's very new to the series, but... The way they handle it, it's not, it's not bad. It really is not bad. There's a crafting seat. There's a crafting system. You can make new things, and you can take things and make new things and make them better, or make them have, you know, make them have value to them. So it's, it's kind of cool. You know, it, it takes so much, it takes so much emphasis on cre, on buying it than creating it. And then of course you talk to townspeople. Lucky to have a library in a small town. Yeah, that's nice. And you know, a little bit of foraging, secrets, you know, gathering things, selling things. It's 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 essentially harvesting and fishing. I am not a fan of the fishing. That's the one big complaint that I have of this game. The fishing is not the best to me. I've I've had I've had better experiences with other fishing mini games, and this one is kind of like, you know, it, it it is challenging. But again, it could be it could be me. That's more of a nitpick than a problem. I've been having so much fun with this game, and it's just been it's just amazing how how it plays, how it looks, how it feels, how it reacts. And I'm just in, I'm just totally enamored with the pro with the process. Uh, yeah, like I say, it can be a pain. Let's go to the go to him and have him redo. Give me some stone. Ooh, ooh something fancy. Thunder egg. Okay, and uh, mudstone. Okay, cool deal. Can I sell that mudstone to you? Yeah, I can sell it to you. There we go. Mm, dang, they went up in the in the, in the update. Hey, 
They raised the price of oil very, very much. Sheesh. They're making you forced to go in the mines now. So yeah, it's pretty good. It, it plays exactly like a Harvest Moon game would play. Like, I mean, exactly like a Harvest Moon game would play. Sometimes I'm like, man, this is so weird, though. Let's see if I can chop down some of these trees. These trees are getting in my way. I need to chop them down. No, well, can't chop them down. There was a way to get around this to get that. I want to get that. I can't. Oh, well. It's good. Got other things, bigger and better things to do today. Like, yeah, I, I just wanted to showcase the town. I didn't want to do, like, a big-time uh, series with this because... I drew the... Was there any dredge? Does that mean anything? I don't know. I really don't know. So I really didn't want to turn this into, like, a big thing. So this is just kind of like an overview slash mini review slash uh, showcase of it. What it looks like. How does it play. Uh... How does it respond? What not and what not. It's it's fun. I recommend I recommend I recommend you buy it and support the developer the developers because this is pretty solid. If you're a fan of Harvest Moon, I think you'll like it. If you're a fan of like of like these kind of games in general, I think you'll like it. I think if you're a fan of indie games, I think you'll like it. Overall, it is not bad. I Will personally wait for a sale, but that's me. But that's me. I'm always that type of person. It's like wait for a sale. It's definitely worth it. Fifteen bucks is a good value for this game, and I wholeheartedly recommend that y'all pick it up, try it, see how you feel about it. But uh, yeah, kind of stick a pin into that right now. All right. Thank you for watching another KKS Gaming video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. What the heck is that? <laughs> Follow me on all of my social networks in the description below. And uh, yeah, have a good morning, afternoon, evening, and good night. Whenever you watch this, as long as you watch this. And have a wonderful day. I don't figure out what this big mushroom thing is. Alright, bye bye